Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute beanie with the puff on top. Now, I made this for my friend because she's going to a sporting event and wanted something super, super warm to wear to the sporting event that she's going to, and she wanted it to represent um, both teams. So just continue watching to make this beanie with me, guys. All right, to make this beanie, what you're gonna need is, um, of course, yarn. So the yarn I'm using is this Hometown Yarn by Lions Brand. And this color that I'm using is the Tampa Spice. And um, the next color that I'm gonna use is the um, Madison Mustard Colors. That's for the first sports team. And then the next colors that I'm using, also the home. Um, town the homespun and then this one is the New York white and then I couldn't find the other color that I wanted um, I can't find anything that was really shiny um, it's still the lion brand yarn but this is the wool ease so it's just a little bit different and this color is the uh, grass color that I'm using and I'll put my um, Amazon links below so you can click on them and see exactly what kind of yarn that I'm using for this but um, on the package it tells you that what you're going to need is you're going to need a nine millimeter crochet hook you're also going to need scissors and your measuring tape and um, also you're going to need a yarn needle and you're going to need this uh, size chart for a beanie and I'm going to make the adult large beanie in the 22 inches and um, it's going to need to be about eight and a half inches high but I'm going to make mine ten and a half inches high because I'm going to flip the brim up and that's going to be about another extra two inches there so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip knot onto my um, crochet hook with my red and now I'm going to chain and I'm going to chain till I reach the ten and a half inches so I'm just going to make a chain stitch until I reach that ten and a half inches and um, I've got my measuring tape there so I'm just going to measure and see about how long that is so hmm, I need to make just a couple of more so yeah that's about right almost so um after I get my ten and a half inches I'm going to chain one more and then I'm going to skip the first chain from the hook and I'm just going to half double crochet all the way down that chain and I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of those chains and um, I tend to crochet a little bit tight but it actually would be a little bit better and easier if I would just kind of loosen up my grip there when I'm crocheting so again just one half double crochet in each of those chains all the way down and one thing that you want to do is you want to count how many chains that you made and how many half double crochets you're doing all the way down because what um, you don't want to get at the very end and have too many or too less so you don't want to accidentally add one or accidentally um, skip one so you just want to make sure that you have the same amount of half double crochets on each row that you're doing and basically what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way down to the end here and when you get to the very end you're going to chain one and that's your that doesn't count as a stitch so I'm just measuring it again. So now I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to turn and I'm going to do half double crochets in each of those half double crochets from the previous round. And I'm working through both loops on this one. The next one that I'm going to do is I'm going to color change to yellow. And when I color change to yellow, I'm going to just work through that back loop. So every time that I color change, I'm going to work in the back loop but every time that I turn and I'm just doing a row of half double crochets I'm going to work in both loops and that's the pattern that I'm going to go in for this whole beanie so for the whole thing that's the pattern I'm going to go in So now I'm color changing to my yellow. So I've made, I've got three loops on my hook there. So like I'm doing my half double crochet, but then I'm pulling through the yellow. And now I'm just gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn 
and then I'm going to half double crochet all the way down but I'm doing it in just that back loop I don't know why my camera is doing that all of a sudden but I'm just going to half double crochet in that back loop all the way down that chain and here I'm just again crocheting I had to uh, fix my camera there real quick because it was just not focusing correctly so here I fixed the focus and then I'm just half double crocheting all the way down in that back loop and then when I get done with this row I'm going to chain one and again that chain one's not going to count it's just a turning chain and then I'm going to half double crochet through both loops all the way down so there I kind of messed up a little bit so I just took it out and um, to where the point was that I messed up and um, so here again just turning and then I'm half double crocheting all the way down again and then when I get down to the end of this row I'm going to color change with my red and then I'm going to half double crochet in that back loop all the way down that row and I'm just going to keep on doing that pattern so every time I change colors which is every two rows I'm going to half double crochet in the back loop And guys, if you're liking what you're seeing, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would really help me out. And um, I have loads of fun new videos. This video here, what I'm doing here is my best friend is going to a um, Kansas City Chiefs game. And the Chiefs are going to be playing the Eagles. So she wanted, she's like, I don't really, she's like, I... I just want to go to a football game and I've never been to a major league fit football game before. So I really just want to um, go to the game and um, I got the tickets a long time ago and they weren't super expensive. So this is what I wanted to do. But she's like, but could you make me a beanie since it's going to be um, really cold and in November? She's like, could you make me a beanie that looks like it's half Chiefs and half... Um, half eagle so I'm like yeah sure I think I could come up with something there so this is what I came up with of course if you have a favorite sports team you could do all of you know the same the same thing for yours you don't have to change and do half one team and half the other but this was a fun project I think for that um just because if you uh if you're going to a game and you want to show your support for both teams then um then this would be a really, really fun project to do. But again, you could make it, I mean, really you could do this pattern with a solid, one solid color. You could do it with two colors, three colors. So you could mix and match. And here, as I, as you can see, I'm doing the adult size, but you could also do a child size and that would be super, super fun. And again, I'm just going back and forth with these colors. And what it is, is at the end, I'm going to need 22 inches total, but for this, I'm going to do for the Chiefs colors, I'm going to do 11 inches and then I'm going to change the colors to the Eagles colors. I'm going to do 11 inches with that. So that'll make me have a total of 22 inches. So half one team, half the other team.
So here I'm starting my last color change. So I will have eight color changes per, um, per team basically. So the Kansas City Chiefs main colors, that's, an, that's eight color changes. And then when I get to the Eagles color changes, that'll be eight color changes. So those are um, here, two rows of red and then two rows of yellow and then the color change again so i just this is my last one and when i'm done with this what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut both of my my um gold here or my yellow color and i'm going to cut my red color and then um, i'm going to change to the eagle colors i'm going to start off with the green and then i'm going to change to the white and i'm going to do the same thing that i've been doing here and so every time i do a color change i'm going to work in that back loop only all right so here i'm going to measure it make sure it's about 11 inches so it is it's right at that 11 inches especially if you stretch it just a little bit and um, that's what i'm getting at here is that i definitely want it to be nice and stretch so now i'm going to just get my scissors and i'm going to cut the yellow and the red i'm going to leave them a little bit long so i can weave them in nicely later so here i have my green and i already found the middle part of that so and leave this a little long too so you can weave that in nicely later so i'm going to chain one i'm going to turn and i'm going to do the same thing i've been doing now so i'm going to work in that back stitch just that back that back loop actually there so i'm just going to go all the way down i'm going to work in that back loop only and then i'm going to chain one turn and then i'm going to work both in both loops um, on my next row and then i'm going to do my color change to um to white and then i'm going to work in the back loop only after i do my color change to white So now again, I'm just pulling that white through and I'm going to work the white in the back loop only like I've been doing and just um, one half double crochet in each of those stitches in the back loop only. And then of course my next, um, so when I get to the end of this row, I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to turn and I'm going to um, work one row of half double crochets in um, in the row that I've just done. And remember to make sure you're counting how many stitches you're doing again, because um, you don't want, you want it to be even. You don't want to accidentally make one too many stitches or one too less stitches. So you definitely want to make sure that these are even because at the very end, we're going to sew this together. So definitely, definitely make sure that you are ending up with the same amount of stitches that you started out with. So I'm just working in that last stitch there. I'm chain one turning and I'm going to work one half double crochet in each of those stitches. And then I'm going to um, color change to my green and then I'm going to work in that back loop only for the green. And I'm going to keep on doing that. And um, again, I will end up having total um, eight color changes between the green and the white and that all of this together will end up being 22 inches long for mine.
So now I'm at the very end and um, I've got half Chiefs colors and half the Eagles colors and now I'm just going to take my measuring tape and I'm going to measure make sure that it's um, as long as it needs to be and it is it stretches nicely so I am confident that this will actually fit her yep it'll fit it's just a little bit above 22 when you stretch it out there so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a really long white piece and I'm going to cut that off and I'm going to get my, and I've, obviously I'm going to cut my green off too and leave a long piece of green. And I'm going to get my yarn needle now and I'm not going to, and I'm going to put these together. So actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to weave in these ends some. So these ends, I'm just weaving them in some. You can go back and forth a little bit and you could kind of, um, if I had left that longer, which honestly I probably should have. So some of them I'll work over and, um, but I'm still going to weave them in some. And the reason I'm doing it now instead of waiting actually is because I just, um, I hate weaving in my end. So if I leave it to the last minute, it's something that I just really, really dread doing. So I try to do it as soon as I possibly can. And I'm just going back and forth, weaving in these ends. I'm going to try to get all the ends and some of those stragglers I'm going to try to work over. I won't be able to get all of them worked over. So I'm going to have to cut some at the very end. But I'm just going to, again, just go back and forth, try to weave in as many of these ends as I can. And some of them, you know, I probably could have cut and tied some of them. But this yarn is a really, really bulky yarn. So I didn't want it to just like be a big knot hanging out there at the end and I'm going to work over it again we're going to do a single crochet all the way across the bottom but that can still look pretty bulky um, if you have a big knot and again of course I didn't want a, like, just a big knot sticking out there at the end again that can be a little bit bulky and here I'm confident weaving in these ends that it's not going to come undone All right, so now that I'm satisfied with weaving in the ends, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the wrong sides together and I'm going to go into the, use my yarn needle, thread it with the white, and I'm going to go through the very back loop. So I'm going to go through the white and the red and the very, very back loop. And you'll be able to see it here better in just a second. I'm trying to get my, my bearings on exactly how I want to do this. So here, just the back loop there. So the red where you started at that chain will have a very kind of back bump. So you want to go through that very back kind of bump on that chain. And you're just going through the back loop of the white. And there's a little bump in the back there of that chain. So you want to go through that very back bump. And you just want to go back and forth all the way down through that little, through the back, um, through that back bump and through that back loop. It's really so it kind of hides that stitch so it makes it just a little bit more invisible. And when you get to the end, I mean, you want it to be tight, but you don't want it to be too tight because if you tie it too tight, then it's going to bunch up and you really don't want it to bunch up at the end. And again, you're just working one in each all the way down. And this was why it was important to count. So now you, um, so you know that you're going just in one stitch and then through the other side of the other stitch. So you need, um, so you need to have equal number of stitches there. 
Oh, and if you're liking this video, please um, push the like button. That would be fantastic. And so here I'm just going through that very last one, kind of tightening it up, but again, not making it so tight that, um, that it bunches up at all. And I forgot to work that red in, so I'm going to work that red in that's at the end there. So I'm just going to kind of weave it through, work it in right there, go back and forth a little bit. And now I'm just going to cut that one off. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my yellow and I'm just going to make a single crochet all the way around at the end of those half double crochets. So I'm really doing about one single crochet per stitch, but you could do sometimes if you look at it, what you don't want it to do again, you don't want it to bunch up. So if it looks like it's bunching up, you may need to do more than one single crochet per stitch, or you may need to, um, go into like the middle stitch and do one in the middle stitch. So you see this one right here will take three because again, I don't want it to bunch up and it can be a little bit hard to work in between those stitches, but it'll be fine. You can just fill it out. So I'm just doing one to maybe two sometimes in those um, half double crochets, the ends of those half double crochets from before. And I'm going to go all the way around with the yellow until I get to the green. And when I get to the green, I'm going to color change to white. And then I'm going to work all the way back around with my white until I get to my yellow. And then I'm just going to slip stitch to that first stitch made. And I'm going to try to work over some of these ends here, but I won't get them all perfect just because um, they are kind of short. So I won't get them all kind of perfect there, but I can, I'm confident that they're fine and I can just cut them off whenever, um, whenever I'm done. So again, just working over those ends. And then when I get to where I'm at my green, I'm cutting that yellow off. I probably should have cut that a little bit longer um, so I could grab my yarn needle and sew it in, but I didn't. So now I'm just going to do, again, single crochet and try to do one. And sometimes again, I'll have to do one in the middle all the way down. And I'm trying to work over the ends as best that I can. And when I get back to where I started with the yellow, I'm just going to slip stitch into that yellow. Or I don't know, is it yellow or gold? I mean, it looks gold to me and it's kind of shiny. It's really, it's, I think it's really a mustardy kind of yellowish color, but it does look gold. So anyway, I like it and I think it looks like the, um, you know, it's a good interpretation of the uh, gold that the Chiefs use. I'm just working that again around one per half double crochet, but I'm trying not to make it bunch up. So if I see this bunching up, then I'm going to do another one. And I'm folding the brim of this up. So I'm going to need to make sure that any ends or anything like that that's sticking out is actually going to be on this side. What is the kind of the right side here? So I'm going to have to make sure that any ends or anything sticking out, I have to bring forward to the right side. So now I'm just slip stitching there and I'm going to um, cut my yarn, just pull it through. And here now I'm going back through and I'm going to work these ends in and that I didn't leave long enough. So I'm going to have to um, use my crochet hook to secure the ends. And here what I might do, I haven't quite 100% decided yet, but what I might do is I might actually end up gluing some of those in just so I know they're really, really secure. And I'm going to, again, work that in, in, I'm going to cut some of those off, work that in, in, work the white through, 
And that one, I'm just going to tie that in the back really tight. And I'll have to decide. All right, that's looking cute. So now I have my white yarn that I did not cut from earlier. So I'm gonna re-thread um, my yarn needle there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go through back loops and I'm gonna thread my long piece of white yarn through every single back loop. So just one through kind of every kind of back loop there. And I'm just going to go all the way around this beanie doing one through the back loop and I'm not tightening it right now as you can see and the yarn will get where it's not quite enough so then you can kind of start tightening it a bit but here I'm just doing one in each going all the way around this and see how I'm just kind of looping it through one of those loops towards the back all the way around and this is the top part of the beanie. So here I need a little bit more yarn, so I'm just pulling that a little bit. And I'm just doing a loop all the way around on these. And I'm trying to do it fairly evenly around. So here I needed a little bit more of my white yarn. So I'm just pulling that a little tighter. And then when I get back to the start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that super, super, super tight. And when I get that as tight as I can possibly get it, I'm going to go back through for the first one. So back through that red that I was in before. And I'm going to pull it tight again. So I'm going to pull that really tight, just literally as tight as I can get that is how I'm going to pull it. And then I'm going to put the yarn through the middle. So thread the yarn through the middle and then turn it inside out. Again, pulling that literally just as tight as I can get it. So as tight as I can pull it, that's how I'm going to do it. And now I'm going to make a knot there and I'm going to make the knot and I'm going to thread it through a couple of times uh, just because I want that to be secure. How tight it is, I want it to be secure. I'm going to add a uh, a pom-pom to this, but um, again, I want this to be super, super secure and I'm not going to cut that white yarn. I'm going to tie the pom-pom to it also, but I'm going to make a pom-pom now and the pom-pom is going to be half, um, half the red and gold and half of the green and white. So I'm going to do half and half on the pom-pom also, but I think that's looking super cute so far. So now how I'm going to do the pom-pom is I'm going to thread the, um, red and yellow so i'm doing those two colors together and then i'm just winding around this one side so i'm going to go all the way around over and over and over and over again and um this is the bigger one so this is the bigger pom-pom uh, maker here and i'm just going to do that a whole bunch of times and until you see pretty much no space there so really like i like my pom-poms really nice and big so i'm going to do this until i pretty much almost can't close it. I'm going to clip those two. And so after I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the other side and I'm going to use the green and the white and I'm going to do the same exact thing that I just did. So I've got the green and white and I'm just going to loop those around over and over and over again, like a whole bunch of times until I, again, until I can't get it really any more on it. So I'm just going to loop it over and over and over again until I can't get anything else on this. And um, once I'm done with that, then I will close it all up and, um, and uh, clip the white and green yarn. Sorry, my train of thought. So as you can see there, I like to do it where there's really no space in the middle there. So now I'm grabbing my scissors. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut down the middle. So I'm just cutting right down the middle there. And I still, these scissors are a little bit sharper than the ones I have normally used. And I did try to sharpen them. So hopefully that's helped a little bit. It, 
it's helped some, but I still think maybe I just need to invest in some new scissors, to be honest. And so here I'm just cutting through. And I find that if you cut through layers, so if you cut through like the top layer and then the bottom layer, it kind of works better. My camera seems to be having a little bit trouble focusing again. No, I'll have to figure that out. All right, so I've got the green and white cut around. Now I'm going to do the uh, gold and red. So I'm going to cut all the way around that again, just like I did earlier with the um, green and white. So I'm cutting through layers here. And seriously, sometimes I just have the hardest time cutting through these, and I'm really just not sure why. So now that it looks like I cut through most of it, I'm grabbing a long piece of the white yarn and I'm tying, putting it in the middle and I'm tying it. I'm just, I am putting this just as tight as I can put it. So as tight as this will go is how I'm doing this. So I'm trying just to pry it apart a little bit here so I can get this to go down just as tight as I can. And so now I'm making another knot in it and I'm going to secure that again, just as tight as I can do it. And now I'm going to open up these arms. And one thing that I noticed after trying to open up these arms is, uh, this is really, really hard to open. And I was thinking, what in the world? Why is this so hard to open? This makes no sense. I forgot to cut some of the strings i missed some of them so uh yeah that would totally totally make it hard to open if you don't cut all the yarn absolutely so let me see did i get it all cut this time out no nope, i got a little bit more left there so here i am got that side open and then gotta open the other side so gotta pry the other side open and then now all i do is i grab them and i pull them apart and so now you can see I've got lots of little yarn pieces all over this place. So now I need to just make this look like a round ball. So I'm going to cut all the way around a whole bunch of times over and over and over again until I make this look like kind of a round puff here. So I'm just going to go around and around and around with this thing until it looks right to me. Now that I've got most of it pretty well done, 
I'm going to attach it to the beanie and I'm going to make sure that the green and white side is on the green and white side and that the red and gold side is on the red and gold side. So I'm just going to take and I'm pulling these right through the middle there. So I'm going to just pull that right through, um, right through my seams are actually. So I'm going to pull that right where the seams are at. And I'm going to make that really tight and secure. And I'm tying it, but I'm making it really, really tight and secure um, because I don't really want it to move around very much. It's usually not a big deal. Now I'm tying that white from before. I'm tying that um, up with it too, just to make sure that's really, really secure also. And now I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna cut this and then I am done, guys. I'm gonna straighten this out a little bit. I got lots of, uh, lots of yarn in my puff. So I'm going to straighten that out a little bit. And that's it really though, guys. So I hope you like this project. This is a fun mesh up and a challenge that um, my friend gave me. So fun mesh up, a fun challenge that she gave me. And I think I was successful at it. What do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed making this project with me and I will see you next time. Happy hooking everybody.